going on? It's another beautiful day here. Oh my gosh, my hair looks horrible. I just woke up, it's like noon. We went out to drink last night, P. Burgos. Ugh, see, my hair is a little messed up. Today's a sad day. So I gotta drop my boy off at the dog sitter today. They're a good dog sitter though. We did them last time and he's like the only dog that they watch. Or at least he was the last time we did it for like two weeks. But today's a sad day for us because homeboy's gotta go for 90 days. Yeah. You know? He's sniffing right now, enjoying the park. But he's about to be gone for 90 days. I'm a little sad. You know, it's like saying bye to your best friend for three months. Except for it's a dog, so it's not really your best friend. Oh, well, yeah, we'll go this way, Theo. But it's hard to fly with a dog, especially with his breed, because he's a snub nosed dog. And he's extra. Always be an extra. So yeah, we're dropping him off at the dog sitter in like an hour or two. And to board him up for three months cost over a thousand dollars. It's like, I think it's like 850 a day, 850 Filipino pesos a day. So then you times that by 90. comes out to expensive. The math might be wrong, but is basically, it's like 72K, I think, total for the 90 days. So whatever that comes out to in Filipino pesos is what we had to pay for three months because we gonna drop them off. We gonna head to Thailand and we gonna try and stay there as long as we can, you know? No reason to try and bring a dog with us if it's gonna cost us. Uh, we looked at this little like private flight thing where someone will take the dog for you. And most of those people were quoting us like uh, $1,500, $2,000 in order for us to ship him over to Thailand. So it's like, I'll just, you know, pay for someone else to watch him for three months and <laughs> go on vacation you know that way i'm not worried about him when i'm making videos for y'all even if they are little short videos which is fine you know i don't know if i want to make like 20 long videos of me monologuing or if i just want to keep my videos short like five ten minutes and you know i wanted to give you all a quick little update on my little guy we walk in this is our last little walk here in the park this is a nice park. This is the uh, Ayala Triangle. Sorry for that. I'm switching hands. That's the, this is the Ayala Triangle Park. Hey, Theodore. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Bunch of places for you to go. I don't think we're allowed on the grass though. Cause they got this. So I don't think we can go on the grass, but Theo can. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we went out to P. Burgos last night. It's actually starting to get back to like that party scene that uh, it used to be, you know? Because it has been about eight or nine months since the Philippines opened up. We got here in April. And right now it's November 5th. I think it's November 5th. Could be the 4th. I don't know. But we got here like April 2nd-ish to November 4th. So we're here for about I know, seven months, six, six to eight months. Because, you know, we took time off in between to go to the Thailand. Uh, and it's good, you know, it's been it's been nice seeing the Philippines like reopen over the past six months. It's been really nice, actually. Even this spot's been opening up. They have a little, uh, come on, Theo. 
they uh, made a little mall here at the, what is it called? Like the Ayala Triangle Malls. Ayala Malls, Ayala Land, make it Cotty at the marketplace. Ayala Triangle Gardens. That's what it's called. I'll maybe take you guys in later today, I like tomorrow, with Lex. Because I kind of want to see it. It's brand new, but it looks like it's still like pretty barren in there. You can see the entrance right there. It looked pretty barren. But it has been nice seeing the Philippines grow. Angelise has definitely turned to more of a party because as you guys know, we probably spent three months here in Manila and about, we spent like three months here in Manila, one month in Molvar, Batangas, and then like three months in Angeles. And uh, Angeles was definitely a party. It's not the party for everybody. I mean, I would kind of say even Manila is not really the party for everybody. It's a party for a select group of people that are looking for that type of party. Because the club scene here isn't as good as you would expect, in my opinion. No, this is just my opinion. But I don't think the club scene here is as good as you expect. Because uh, most of the places you go, uh, there's just the girls want you to buy them drinks. Like the girls are there for you to buy them drinks and for them to entertain you. Which, you know, that's some people's forte. Uh, but that's not my forte. I ain't about that life. You know, like, it's cool. They give you attention. But, you know, they just want you to buy them, like, a $5 beer or whatever the price is. Three, $4 beer. So, uh, that's not really my cup of tea. But if you do find the bars that are... Uh, you know, not those types of places. The party's usually popping. And there's usually girls there that don't want you to buy them drinks. And that's where I like to go because I don't, I don't really partake in that. But if I meet you and you ain't one of those types of girls, then yeah, we can hang out. Because, you know, I don't want to have to constantly be paying you. I'd rather you just hang out with me because you want to, you know? I don't like people wanting me for like money or some shit, which a lot of people in this country I feel like do. They feel like because you look like me, you just got like an endless amount of money. And it's just kind of annoying, but it is what it is. That's why we getting out of here. We going to Thailand. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. You know, I started this walk off being sad because I'm about to have to drop off my buddy, the low Theodore. But, uh, it'll be all right, it'll be all right. You know, like the first day or two stinks because you're breaking up with him in a sense, since, you know, he's going to the dog sitter. And now he got all these other people that love him as much as I do. But, uh, it'll be all right, you know, it'll really just be all right. I'm just bummed because I'm losing my dog. I'll have no one to play fetch with. I'll have no one to give me their paw. You know, it is what it is. Thanks for listening to this little update on the channel. I'm going to try and do these like longer one shot videos because editing can be really hard. So I need to get started somehow. I figured, you know, if I'm going to get started on this whole YouTube thing, let me just do it in like one long take. Give y'all guys like, you know, a little 10 minute update every now and then let you know what I'm up to, where I'm at, where my mind is, maybe some travel tips where I'm at some days. But yeah, like I said, today was mainly just complaining about my dog leaving. <clears throat> and if you want my travel advice, if you're in America, because that's just kind of who I think I'm talking to, and you're coming to this part of the world, I would say just go to Thailand. Because you have more 
variety of food for sure in Thailand. It's usually more uh, tasty is what I would say. The cost of living is about the same. And there's a few things about Thailand that are better than the Philippines. And I just say it's a little bit more uh, tourism friendly, especially when you actually go to like the big towns like Bangkok, Phuket, Koh Samoy, Pattaya. A lot of them are like tourist friendly where it's easy to get from point A to point B. And I would say in the Philippines, it's a little bit more difficult. Probably because it's just a bunch of islands versus a big old landmass. But uh, yeah, I, I think Thailand's kind of the better spot to be right now. Philippines is getting better, it's opening up. You know, they just recently stopped people from uh, using masks everywhere. It's now uh, like recommended you use a mask. So. Philippines is getting better, but we off to Thailand, baby. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.